winning. No gunshots, but they getting low, 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 getting. Hey, what's up, guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video on my map. So, um, I did some stuff in a video, and I lost the video, or like I deleted it because I wanted to just start fresh. So, I'm just going to kind of do this video to show you an update of what I did, and to also show some stuff that I'm going to be adding to this map in the future. So, um, if I've shown anything before, I apologize, but anyway... Added a Heartland Co-op sign to the Heartland Co-op uh, elevator. Um, if you look, all of my field fences are on here. There is, I believe it's 794, I want to say, or something like that. That can go to the garbage. Um, let's look here. And I'm opening it with the wrong program, but whatever. Um, uh, it was 794. Exactly what it was. And then after that, um, I did this part in the video, but added this field in. And then if we look at this, you can see... Uh, I did kind of change the field shape just a little bit, but whatever. But as you see, there is this little road here, and that is currently what I have going right here. Um, I'm just doing an actual physical road object here. So, you know, kind of neat, I guess you could say. Um... So yeah, that's pretty much all that's been done on the map. Really not a whole lot. Um, getting close to being done with it, with the fields anyways. I uh, just got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten fields left to add. Eleven actually. Um, and these two are actually going to have working pivots in them. And I'm going to actually show you guys that here in just a moment. Um, so I'm just going to close that and not save because I didn't do anything that would need saving. Um, so uh, I'm just going to kind of show you some different stuff that I'm going to do on here. And then I'm just going to kind of run through all of my projects as well. Just kind of an update video on some stuff. So we have... Um, Box post. What's that? Huh. Not exactly sure what box post is. So here we have an electrical fence. Uh, we're going to figure out here what this box post exactly is. Oh. That would make sense. It's the electrical box. That should have been a no-brainer. Anyway, so then here we have the uh, section of electrical... Electrical fence. This is it was released on the official website for FS17, and I just ran it through Blender so that way I could use it here in 15. Uh, we got an electrical box for like the houses and stuff uh, is what this one is for. Um, I took this off of. The Midwest Grain and Livestock Map. Um, found a few nice objects on there that I've been using. This being one of them. Uh, and I don't know why I didn't save that. Uh, I'll save that one. So this is another model I brought down from FS17. Uh, this is a high level rack. I'm going to be adding this to um i think my idea was to add this to to the cps but i'm actually not doing things a way that i was planning to so i don't need that anymore uh this is a building that i found someplace i don't remember where the heck i found this 
Um, but it, it's kind of a neat little building. Uh, I might put like the bale cell in this. Like the way that I'm going to set this map up. Like you can sell bales at a farm if you have excess. And so then you can make a little money. And then this might also just be something at one of the farms and whatnot. You know, maybe as a bale storage. Or, you know, like you could, you know, throw some bales up here and then you could back your mixer in. And, you know, just kind of general storage and that kind of thing. Uh, just because it is, is kind of a neat looking building. Uh, so we got that. Uh, here's the mail truck. <clears throat> uh, I, this is just a little SketchUp model that I did. Um, it's nothing special. I might go and find a nicer one and make a better model. Uh, but this is just going to be something that's placed on the map at a mailbox. You know, just kind of a neat thing to add. Um, this, I'm going to, these next two pieces, I'm not 100% sure that I'm going to add. Um, I haven't decided yet if I want to add these anywhere. Um, these oil pump things. Uh, but there are a couple of them. And... Like in game, you it creates oil and then you can haul it away and sell it. But if I added them, uh, I would just add these as map objects and just put them in there for looks. Um, and then I'd also I'd also try and figure out a way to get this thing so that it just kept pumping. It is pretty cool. I like the look of them. And then the last thing that we have is a turkey. Uh, of course there are going to be a whole lot more objects added to my map. But this is just some stuff that I've had in a folder. Uh, this is also a thing brought down from 17. Um, it was I think put on the official website. And so I brought it down and whatnot. Um, so that's all in there. Uh, here is a the dairy barn that I'm going to be using. Uh, this is from Random Sparks Media's uh, FS17 Central Valley map. Uh, I still have to run this through Blender. I just haven't done it yet. But uh, a nice large dairy barn. Uh, if you play 17 and have played this map, you know the Dairy Barn. So, um, I would add another door to right to like one of the sides, and then just have the barbed wire fence come out the other, or something like that. Or just have this in the middle of a big pasture, and then just have some gates getting out or something, and then. Um, I do have a thing of calf pens as well that I exported off of there. Kind of a nice larger area. Uh, I think I'm just going to take, you know, I'm just going to do this now. I only need this. Because I would set it up a little bit differently, so. So then, while I'm thinking of it, I'm just going to go in and remove these ones that I don't, these texture files that I don't need. Um, so they're all in models and hutch. So then. 
So what was the three in... Yeah. Oh, uh, that's not what I wanted. I want it. Okay, so then we can go to calf pens, textures. There we go. So then we can delete those two. Paste them into here because we don't need them. And then this is going to be replaced by textures slash. Texture slash, and that needs to be underscore final. And there we go. So then that is that. Oops. Um, and then I can close that one. And then, oh, I still need to go show the pivot. But we'll get to that here in a second. So then this is a shed. I think this also came off Random's map. Yeah, it did. Uh, pretty nice barn. Uh, he, I did see he is also releasing a bunch of objects uh, here fairly soon. So... Uh, for a subscriber count or something like that. So I'll be bringing those down as well. So then here are all of the pivots. Um, there is 60, 120, 180, 240, 300, and 420 meter. Uh, I'm not sure quite yet which one I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to import a couple of different ones into the map and just kind of size them you know because these are pretty large even this one so i don't know what the deal is with that goofy looking thing but this thing looks way different than i remember it as looking so i don't remember i'd have to sit and look through this pack maybe it's not not quite what I'm thinking it was. Cause so this means like case, I'm assuming. I think this is just the box, yeah. So I have to mess with it a little more. Figure out uh, exactly how, how I am going to set it up and whatnot. But yeah, so... That is all, guys. Um, I'm going to end the video here. A little bit of a short update. Uh, in the next mapping video, uh, we'll do... Oh, I was going to show some of the stuff that I'm working on. That's right. So here we have a few things. Um, we have an a Alice Chalmers 190. Uh, here's all the AO bakes for it. Um, if I messed something up in it. I don't know what. But, yeah. And so then we have the cabbed version. I'll open this one up in Blender because I know how this one is in the files. The other one, I kind of did a bunch of changing to some files in there. So, I don't feel like seeing going through them all right now. Because the other one is the same as this. Only it just has fenders instead of a cab. That's really the only difference. Uh, I'm going to be doing an AO baking tutorial here very soon as well. You guys will get to see that. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> so, here's the other one. Uh, and like I said, the other one is pretty much the exact same. Just it has actual fenders and the lights are in the fenders. Versus in here. Or in on the cab because there isn't one. So, that's that. Um, New Holland H8060... Swather, um, somebody sent me this to work on. I haven't, I haven't even done anything with it yet. I have a lot of stuff I haven't done anything with. But H eighty sixty Swather, 
might do it. I haven't decided. Uh, the International 745 tractor that I did, uh, this thing is ready for scripting. I just haven't scripted it yet. Um, that's, you know, I have quite a few projects where they're just ready for scripting and just need to be. Um, I don't know if I can bring it up in render. I can. Um, but anyway, I just, this is a poly model. I removed the goofy looking hitch that they had on here. Removed the three point and removed the cab. And then I modeled my own hitch and a PTO shaft. And mainly because this is just going to be an auger tractor. That's what I'm in gaming it as. Um, New Holland TV 6070 bi-directional tractor. Uh, I bought this one. Uh, haven't touched it yet either. Um, this has just been sitting here waiting to be used. Haven't figured out how I want to set this one up yet. If I want to keep things the way they are and, you know, like, separate the bucket and have that its own purchasable model or how I want to set all this stuff up maybe make the loader separate too or what um, but need to do that one and then here's the Oliver 1955 pack um, and I'll be able to show you these radios now that I was talking about So there is the Fender radio that I was talking about uh, for that one. And then this tractor's got indoor camera. Uh, that radio. Figured that one kind of fit this tractor. So that is that. And then we have the Versatile 305, um, which I just need to finish a couple things here in Giants Editor and script it and then this thing's ready to rock and roll as well you can see I just need to finish adding dirt to these wheels and then this thing will be already set to go uh, for scripting so that's all there and then we go to implements uh, we have Blue Diamond Bale Fork. This is a thing that I got from BC Bueller Modding. Uh, the model that I got from him uh, when I got his uh, Landall from him. So need to work on these yet. Um, got the two Brent carts, which I'm actually going to start over with um, because. I've learned a few things since these carts. So there's this one, and then the other one is exactly the same, only it's red and it has wheels. So I think what I'm going to do actually is just delete the red one. Well, no, I'm not going to delete it. Um, I'm just going to only export the wheels unless they have – I have to look. So that's the tracked version. So then let's go look at the wheeled version because – I can't remember. I think I think the bodies are different. So if they are different, then I have to do things a little bit differently. Yeah, it is a little bit different. So, but I am gonna have a green and a red version of both of those. Um, got a bush hog mower from the small farming pack in thirteen that. Um, uh, that I just need to script yet, and then it is done. Uh, I'm going to be remaking my Fontaine tender trailer, because uh, since I've done this, I have learned a whole lot of stuff. And I mean a whole lot. This trailer is really, really old, um, and so I'm going to do things, you know, rebake things, and use a different trailer for a base and then script it a little bit differently so that way it's fillable uh, for probably for the um, the tender trailer or the you know tender box that way I can have you know 
that thing working and then the fertilizer would just be a um it's it would just run off of triggers uh international 955 planter i have yet to work on it um i've never done a planter before so i don't really know how i need to work this thing out or how this thing should work out but i just know that it's going to be crazy but it'd be a nice planter for my map and then this is the Landall 7400 vertical tillage tool that I got from BC Bueller. Um, this is the one that I paid for the other one he uh, threw in for free. Oh, I guess I gotta go like this. I'll have to look at it here in GE. I haven't started this thing yet either. I don't know what the deal is with my spec maps. Things have gone a little bit wonky on me. But. Yeah, so I need to mess with that as well. And then I have a couple of trucks. Uh, these are SketchUp models that I'm going to completely redo. Uh, we have a 66 C10. Uh, I'm going to make this look a lot like uh, Outlaw's truck that he is working on. Um, if anybody watches Outlaw, you'd know the truck. Oh, I need to download a different version of these trucks. But uh, And then I have a 79 F250. Uh, that I'm also going to do, but I just need to re-download them because I downloaded them for a different different version of SketchUp that I don't have. So that's going to do it for the video. Uh, a little update on a bunch of stuff. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Uh, be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs as well as my upload schedule and links to all my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.